cows are walking from a paddock into a robotic dairy, which milks them automatically, without any need for a farmer to be there. Dairy technician Robbie Nichols explains the benefits of this technology. Robotic dairies are farming for the future, so we're looking for the younger generation to come into the industry again. I feel in the last 10 years we've probably almost skipped a generation because it's so labour intensive, the hours are very hard to suit a social life as well. And now we can open that up by planning your tasks when they suit you more than when the cows have to be milked. Robots are better suited for management of the farm, the whole farm practice, so we're saving labour in the milking side of it, but we're allocating that time back into pasture management and cow management. There's a lot of nutrients involved in it with getting the cow pasture right, with getting the grain ratios right, things like that. So there's, it's not just the farming aspect, there's all the other industries around that surround it and there's a lot of opportunities now. So at this farm, the farmer arrives at about seven o'clock in the morning and he starts his duties from there. Conventionally he was starting at about 5.30 in the dairy before he was getting the cows as well. So it's a lot more of a lifestyle change for him. Now that we've got this technology in our system, rather than being stuck twice a day in the dairy milking cows, I spend probably an hour a day monitoring my cows individually. Farmer Malcolm Hick is sitting in his office looking at a computer monitor that shows his cows in the dairy. Each cow waits its turn and then walks into its own enclosure to be milked. They run their own race basically, they come and go as they please. I'm not tied to being at the farm at a specific time. The basic system is we set our farm up into three sections. From eight o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon, they go to one break of grass. From four o'clock in the afternoon till two o'clock in the morning, they go to another break of grass. And then from two o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock, they have another race. They get three breaks of grass a day. The trick is to get that break of grass correct. And if you get that correct, the cows will walk looking for more feed. That allows me to notice which cows are producing better, which ones aren't. The cows make their way from paddock to paddock over a 24 hour period before ending up at the dairy. Different cows arrive to be milked at different times. The cows will tell you when there's something wrong with them. You'll get a cow that will all of a sudden, she's on two and a half, three milkings a day. All of a sudden she, she's late. I'll get a report on my computer to say this cow's been 16 hours, where is she? And you go and find her and sure enough she's got a sore foot or she's got mastitis or it sh shows up straight away. Their milking performance is then revealed on a computer screen in Malcolm's office. This screen here is what we call our milking status report. These top five cows here have been 14 hours since they've been milked, but they are in the waiting area waiting now. The cows enter through what they call a smart gate that directs the cows depending on whether they've got milking permission or not. Minimum milking permission time is around six hours. They can't just keep going round and round circles. Red sensor lights are used to find each cow's teat and then robotic suction caps attach to the teats automatically to start the milking process. Once they enter the robot, each teat is cleaned um, individually and then there's four separate cups get put on the individual quarters. With this system, as we can see on the screen behind me, each cow's quarter is individually checked every time they get milked. Um, it gives me what's called a mastitis detection index. I've got the computer automatically set so that anything that has a mastitis detection above two, the milk is automatically diverted away from the vat. So it will pick that up. We can divert the milk away, have a look at the cow, treat her if required. I'm currently running around about 3.2% protein, around about 4% fat. I think the components have increased simply because the cows go into three separate sections a day. Currently looking at the monitor board, tells me my daily milk production was yesterday was just under three and a half thousand litres. Average milk yield 25 litres per cow. Daisy milk is 254 days and they consumed 870 kilos of grain yesterday. The benefit of this computer system is each individual cow has an individual ration and before in the older dairies every cow just got the same ration. Once the cow has been milked, a gate automatically unlocks so they can leave the milking area and walk down to eat some grain out of a special computerised chute. Each cow's got its NLIS, electronic tag, in its ear, so the computer knows which cow's standing at the feed station and then it will go, OK, that's such and such a cow. She gets nine kilos of grain, so we'll keep feeding until she gets to her ration. So if the cow's increasing in her milk production, it will give her a little bit more feed. It gives me so much control on 
what's going on with the farm. I can be anywhere within mobile service and I've got cameras that I can look at. Video cameras set up within the dairy send pictures direct to the farmer's smartphone so that he can see what's going on just by looking at the screen of his phone. Um, if I get an alarm, I can look at the camera and say, OK, there's only half a dozen cows there, there's still two robots working, the other one can wait till I get home. Or I can have a cow set to be caught by the robot that I want to look at if she's got mastitis or something like that. So it will ring me and say, I've got your cow, please come and treat her. So it just gives you so much more flexibility. Mm -hmm.